Hi, and welcome to your midweek pick-me-up. Um, I almost didn't do this. I kind of said last week might be my last one, and I don't know. I had to get ready anyways to go up to the shop, so I figured I might as well. Um, tomorrow our card is the Four of Wands, and Thursday is the Tower, so I thought just pull a few extra cards and see if there are any overlaps or further clarification on those cards. <laughs> three cards from each deck, one for today, one for tomorrow. Here's two. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Mm. One for today. The Moon. For Wednesday. Eight of Wands, Swiftness, Lord of Swiftness, and Thursday. Princess of Pentacles, Princess of the Echoing Hills, whoa. Knight of Wands, People cards, so one more card for Thursday. Clarification on the tower. Fortitude, daughter of the flaming sword. And the bottom is the Knight of Pentacles. Let's bring this back. One card for today. The Seven of Cups, card for today. The Emperor, Aries. One card for Wednesday. Eight of Pentacles. Got eight and eight for Wednesday. Eight Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Thursday for the Tower, Judgment, Wake Up Call, Fire. And I have Wands on the bottom. Lexila Normand. Sum these up or further clarifying clarification. The stars and the hearts. Stars are 16 in this deck for some reason instead of 17, like the star card. Heart energy is positive, keywords, astuteness, clarity, dreams, guides, healing, hope, intuition, navigation, psychic talent, spiritualism, success. Full meaning, when you wish upon a star is an apt way to think of this card, the card of guiding hopes and dreams. Not a time for action, but to listen to your inner voice for a while. Trust yourself and know and allow that you know the true guide. Know what you know. Trust in yourself and allow what you know as true to guide you. Um... Love, peaceful relationship, falling in love, career, slow but steady goals coming, stick with the path you were on, an optimistic qualities, characteristics, an op optimistic person who lives by your intuition is encouraging to others, and image origins, the background, the background of the hermit makes another appearance here, the star comes from the light inside the hermit's lantern, the mountains in the card are borrowed from the eight of cups. Another eight. Maybe you need to look inside yourself or just take a breather. You know that the path that you're on is the right path. Mark 
Angel Oracle cards. There's some encouragement. Counselor, Archangel Ariel, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reinsurance. You know what to do is on the bottom. Remember who you are. <clears throat> Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. One more card. The stars being 16, I mean the tower is 16, that's the card for Thursday. Along with judgment, and I forget the first card we got for Thursday, but anything else? Clear cognizance, Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Healthy lifestyles on the bottom. And I'm just trying to think of other decks that I have that are kind of like encouraging or just tell you good things. <laughs> So the Winged Enchantment Oracle. Swan, 35. Also Parrot, 25. And Dove, 8, is on the bottom. Swan, 35. This says... I am Swan, the poet and the muse, and the muse. Let me start over. I am Swan, the poet and the muse. I am strength and beauty, and the fortitude without fortitude. I think for Thursday, that was the other card. And fortitude of love and the undying inspiration of the soul. I am great symphonies and priceless art, and the harmony of an expressive way of life. You need to soften your harshness of your world and allow sweeter tides to flow in. And the ideal aesthetic accomplishment. I am the ideal aesthetic accomplishment. We will call forth the finest creations from the human soul. This is your time to let good life unfold. Let the music play, allow the books to pile up, savor each breaststroke of your next fantastic whim. I'm a, I am a peaceful escape when the world piles up on you. I will reflect your inner elegance for you to see. There are dark corners that need the light. There is a shadow that needs refinement. There are creative impulses yearning for fruition. You are ordering the chaos, you are heightening the senses, you are unfolding grace, you are swan. You're swan. 35 or 8, I mean, it's got fortitude, 8, again, 8, dove. Maybe I'll read dove on the bottom too. This is pretty short. I am Dove, the piece of alignment. I am feminine. I am sensitive to my surroundings. I am the nourishment of the earth and the gentleness of our instincts. I am the calm after the storm. I am hope and harvest. I am the embellishment of harmony and the sacrifice necessary to nurture what has been created. You are at peace now and brimming with compassion. You are in love with life and in the enjoyment of family connections. I am the safety of the united community. This is not the time to fly solo, but rather to seek out kindred spirits. I am the gathering of like minds. I am the coven. I am the serenity of kin. I am the group mind and structure merge and structure. Merge your energies with others and watch what unfolds. There is great power and collaboration. There is profound wisdom within the whole. You are engaging life. You are embracing peace. You are aligning with others. You are dove. All right, well, I hope this brought some encouragement to you and you have a great midweek. All right, talk to you later. Bye.